Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. I am your host here at the Arizona Mall Shop, Dave. And we're doing part two of my review of the 1350 um, Nagato from Hasegawa. And uh, the kit that I decided to do with for the photo etch is Pantos. Um, very well detailed kits, a little expensive but very well detailed um, well worth down the road if you want a very realistic looking ship so um, the kit I forgot to mention before the kit does come with its own this is the deluxe kit that I got um, it does come with decking very limited um, photo etch back there um, I'm going to leave it in here so I don't lose it or mess up the decks. Um, but there is some photo etch up there for the chain point for the where the anchor chains go across the deck. And that is really all that came with the kit for photo etch. So, um, actually, I think it's this one that came with it. Um, this one did. I accidentally actually bought a different one. So it's your choice. They both look all right. I think the planking on the one that came with the kit is a little small compared to what it should be. As you can see on this one, I don't know if we can see these, but th this one is real small, looks out of scale to me. This is the one that I would go with, and it has the, the plates, which you're probably going to get inside the box. But this is what it came with, and this is the one I got, like say the the decking looks more to scale than this one so comes with decking and look inside the box and go over this uh, most Pontos kits are very well detailed um, lots of photo etch so nice piece of foam get that out of my way and we'll start with this this there's 12 pages of of instructions it's six with the one on the back side and the one thing I do like about them is instead of as you can see their actual pictures of the pieces being used and how to do it um, tells you where to remove things uh, in red and what you're going to add back um, I did notice in here um, well, it's got the Imperial Crest on it too and so a lot of the ones that the decks are on here too. I pointed out that uh, in the previous video that it's um, they're kind of weak on a uh, little detail, but uh, the, these ones that go on the the main decking with the latches and covers and everything are included in here. Like I say, this is 12 pages, double printed. Um, you probably could do the digitize these and use a computer I know BA Brian over at BAS he likes to digitize his stuff I'm still old school and put it on a clipboard but uh, definitely that and definitely staple together in the corner because it you don't want to lose your pages so um, in the last video I talked about replacing the blast bags it does come with some resin ones which are a lot better than the kit ones they always add to it which is nice. So you get blast bags. Uh, let me get this out of the way. And then we have brass barrels for the 14 inch guns, I believe those were. And Pogata masks, like I said, replacing some of those. And some smaller stuff that you may have to glue together to make some of the antennas. There's several bags in there. Um, chocks, cleats, the Imperial Crest, there's some um, thin white plastic there and you get some actual real anchor chain inside the Pontos kit so but yeah I'd open it up but I don't want to lose any parts because some of these are rather small but uh, nice brass barrels for the main guns and secondary guns and some other oh it even comes with a, some pulleys to replace 
the photo or the molded ones, which is nice. So you get that, you get that bag of that. Um, let's see how many of these are. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six frets of photo etch. And as I talked to her, I saw it in here. Um, the plastic piece that I said you might want to cut out. There's the photo etch replacement. So that's all been opened up for you right there. Um, good, you need a good bender for that and some good uh, tools. Um, so we got those. Uh, lots of railings. Uh, looks like ventilators. Uh, more got superstructure with vents. There is a complete. It goes on the deck the, where the move the planes. Real good detail on the diamond plate there and there. Really nice detail. Uh, this one seems to be like like no skid. You can actually feel it on there. So you can't beat that. The funnel cap is clear, cleared out for you. Right there. I know this stuff's shiny. Right there, and you will have to fold those, bend them over. Um, some good parts, big parts, um, especially if you have to fold. I would definitely get um, a large folder. Um, I'll show you what I got here. So I have a, I have a very large one. We're doing straight edges on parts like this and a smaller one for small pieces. Um, this one was custom made for me years and years ago and it sold up pretty well. It's a solid block of aluminum and can't beat it. It's your typical one. Slide the piece under, bend it up. It's heavy, but uh, you can pick those up at any place. I think I got this one off Amazon or something like that and it's worked well for the smaller pieces and all that and then different size bends for your smaller pieces and like your ladders that have rails so definitely you want to get a good folder on that lots of railing tons of railing and it looks like chain so you can't beat that uh, here's the plates right there for the anchor chains to go across and we have some flush deck um, flush deck um, hatch covers and bulkheads in this kit right here a lot better detail than you fold them give them that the thickness and the height they need uh, pulleys and sides uh, more window there's some window frames in here there's the the crane so you have tons of stuff there to work with. Just patience on these things. I know they're small. Um, I'm not perfect at it. I drop little pieces here and there and everywhere. So we all do it. So, But this is what I recommend is the, the Ponto set. It's detailed. You get the resin parts. You get some nice barrels, chocks, and cleats. And some other cool things like the Imperial Crest nice anchor chain, which is better than the kit one. But can't beat it. I know they're a little expensive, but they're definitely worth it. Um, great um, detailed plans. I would definitely staple those together. <coughs> Pardon me. And if it's up to you, I mean, you can go with the kit one. There's nothing wrong with it. It just looks out of scale to me compared to the markings on the decking. They're just a little thin um, and they're symmetrical. Uh, most decks are off like flooring so that's why I went with the aftermarket one. Um, this is actually from Hasegawa which is funny. So that's in there. So that is my review of the Ponto's kit. Um, I would take it out of the bag. I don't want to lose any parts. We all know that they fly off the 
bench and you never find them, but that's why I got a darker floor so they stand out. Um, if you have any questions about this, uh, please put it in the comments. Uh, be more than glad to answer them. Like I say, you can pick those up at Amazon and you can find this thing weighs a ton. Um, you can find some of these uh, bigger ones um, made by the same one, Master Tools. It's yay big or so. You can find these on Amazon and they're worth it, especially when you're doing big pieces. Um, it's easier to flip around. Plus, you, this one's got a little more working space than this one does if you're trying to fold a PCA big. So, all right, that is my review. Oh, I was talking about re replacing the props with uh, here's one that's done with a piece of stainless um, three blader I uh, believe that goes on the peachy boat but yeah you just gotta get some good cutters snip them off filed off and you've got brass or stainless steel shafts which most of them were made of so alright there's my review I'm gonna get these uploaded to you and I hope you're all Good, health, safe, safe and healthy. And we will talk to you guys on the next one.